up with me for a while then you will already know that I recently bought myself a few makeup products to be able to use in you know future makeup videos that you guys want to see from me so today I thought I'd go ahead and basically try out these makeup products for you guys give you guys my little first person view of it or you know things like that and I also wanted to do this video because I'm really 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 excited to try out the two palettes that I have so let's get started so, first things first, put headband on to put these bangs back, but honestly guys, I wasn't even planning on doing my makeup today because it is my day off, so I thought I'd go ahead and just, you know, be completely naked today, no eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, all that stuff, um, but here we are, we are doing those videos, so let's um, get started. So I didn't go crazy with getting makeup products. I just got like the basics that I needed. I didn't buy multiples of certain products. I just got what I needed. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which looks like this in the package. And I haven't even taken anything out of its packaging yet, so this is all a first. This is what we're dealing with. So, a little close up of it. This is how it looks. So it is Too Faced Born This Way medium to full coverage foundation, whatever that means. <laughs> I really do not know the makeup vocabulary, so bear with me. And even at that, let me just go ahead and say now that I have no idea how to check how this makeup works or like, you know, to say if it's good or bad. I don't know. So um, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> but it is the natural beige. That's how it looks. And we're just going to go ahead and pop this sucker on. Got my little beauty blender here as well. I went ahead and got a red one. A little close up of that. Hopefully it works out for me. <laughs> so I don't really know how to apply this. Should I just do it on my hand? I need a mirror for starters. Oh, this has a mirror. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I feel something coming. Oh. I think we're better off with the hand. With the finger or something. I don't know. Or should I do it on the beauty blender? I just... Oh, that's a lot. Just gonna do that. Oh, that is way too much. Okay, I guess it worked out in the end. So the downfall about this is I don't have any makeup wipes. I went last night to buy these makeup products knowing that I didn't have makeup wipes. Did I go and buy them? No, I didn't. I forgot about them. So that's freaking fantastic. Oh well, I'll probably try to buy some later tonight. Good, this makes me look darker. That's like, really it's making me look orange. Yeah, I think we were better off with the other shade that we were trying. I don't know. It's probably just me. I don't know. I feel like this is dark. That is dark for me. Oh well. Hopefully the concealer makes up for it. I'm like very scared to try new products, guys, because I don't really wear makeup every day. But when I do, I tend to break out like as soon as it comes off. As soon as I take it off, I am just breaking up a freaking storm. It's ridiculous. So I really hope that doesn't happen this time because this is very, very new to me. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know, I feel like I look normal. I guess it's kind of suiting it. I don't know. I really can't tell, guys. But we're going to say foundation is set. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to concealer. And for the concealer, it is just the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the color Cashmere. This one isn't that new to me because I have been using Debbie's. Just Debbie's shade is Cashew, and I went a shade lighter. So let's just, let, let's just hope, guys. Ooh. It looks kind of very light. Some dots up here. Don't mind how I do the concealer. I don't really, I don't know like the full area of how that's supposed to go down. It looks light as freaking hell. It looks pretty light, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh my god, what is happening? This is horrible. It looks horrible, at least. Okay, so I am obviously being dramatic because there is nothing wrong with how it looks. At least to me. So. 
I mean, I guess it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but then again, what do I know? <laughs> I guess we're off to a decent start. Now that that's said, I guess we'll go straight into the contour because I have the contour palette anyway. And this one is the e.l.f. palette, which is the one that Bebel uses. So she thought I should go ahead and try it. So, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use my brushes. So I think for the contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush, which looks like this. It was the closest I could find for contour, so I guess we'll try it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy right here for the contour, I guess. Just gonna work our way. Making ourselves a little toasty, I see. Blend away the freaking brightness and everything. A little bit down here. Okay, so I stopped recording, so I don't know where we left off, but have the contour already put on. Um, not gonna do my brows right now because I actually have to borrow my mom's because I didn't buy a brow product because the one that I wanted, they didn't have anymore, and I didn't want to jump into just one product, so waiting on the brow product. So I'm gonna use my mom's. But moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and try out my ColourPop Sweet Talk palette because this one is the one that I was dying to use. And it actually looks like this when it's open. Freaking cute, right? Ooh, or should I use the Frozen palette? I'm so, I don't know. No, I won't touch the Frozen palette because that is a little more on the crazy side. Don't have that much technique yet to use that palette. I don't have any technique at all. Oh my god, what am I saying? So I'm just gonna stick with the simple things and figure it out. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush, which looks like this. Sorry, it has old eyeshadow on it, but whatever. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with, with Work It, which is, oop, can't see if it's closed which is this orange color up here at the top. Am I pointing to it? Yes, I am. And I'm just gonna place that all over my lid. As simple as that. Keep looking at myself in my mirror. I don't know, my face looks... Oh my God, okay, never mind. Start off on the edge here. And just work my way around. I'm actually blending in with the old brown that I had on this brush, so that's great. I don't know why I want it to pop, but I guess we're gonna make it pop. I need to relax though, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing at the end of the day, so I don't want to look like a clown. Yeah, a little more orange works. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set that brush down, and I think I'll go ahead and use Early Morning, which is this little yellow, I don't know if it's like a glittery, yeah, like a glittery yellow look. I think it'll tie in a little nice with the orange. I'm just gonna use my finger and just dump it in there. That's got a lot on it. I didn't even grab a lot either. I should probably stay away from glitter right now that I have no idea what I'm doing because it's just, I feel like glitter is like over the top and it's just gonna end bad for somebody who doesn't know what to do. This looks so weird, but whatever, I guess. We're gonna deal with it, I don't care right now. I'm not impressing anybody, just having a little fun. Why did I go for glitter, guys? Tell me right now, why the hell did I go for glitter? I don't even like glitter. I don't know, but we're popping, literally, because glitter is freaking sparkly. This is how you know. I don't know crap about what I'm doing with this makeup. This right here says it all. But am I gonna stop? No, I'm not. I've come this far, might as well keep going. I mean, it's pretty, not gonna lie. I don't like glitter, but it's a pretty one. Ah, okay, that's enough of the glitter. Leave that alone. Swipe off that glitter somehow because that is everywhere. And at the top is done. I'm gonna go and grab a smaller brush. Or you know what? No, I'm gonna grab this flat brush. This is my Luxie 221 flat definer brush. And it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead, grab that orange that I was using, and just gonna go ahead and throw that on the bottom portion of my eye. So 
So now I'm gonna switch over to a little blendy brush. Yes, I just called it a little blendy brush. Don't come at me. I'll go ahead and use this one, the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush, which looks like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the rest of that color on the bottom part of my eye. Okay, do I want liner or is it glitter enough? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara. I don't think I'm gonna add some liner. Probably when I put lashes on, but for now, I'm gonna do mascara, which is my voluminous lash paradise from L'Oreal Paris. Glitter is very dangerous. It's bugging my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera, so I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay guys, and we're back, and as you can see, I'm already one lash in, brows are done. Don't pay attention to them, because they're not the best. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the other lash on, and the lashes that I'm using are my newest Suavecita lashes that I got for Christmas. They are called Sugar Plum, and they look like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on. Okay, and lashes are set. We're good, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish the face. And sorry, the lighting is going out pretty quick because the sun is starting to set. So go ahead and use my, well, first of all, we're gonna bake. Use my Revolution, Makeup Revolution, setting powder, baking powder, sorry. In Banana Light, looks like this. And not really sure how to use this exactly, so give me a minute. Okay, I got it set, and um, now that we're baking, I'm gonna go back with the contour and kind of just add a little bit more because I feel like it. So I'm gonna do a little more of that. This side as well. Okay, so now that we're all set, baked, and you know, face is set, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with some highlighter. This is my Maybelline New York Master Chrome highlighter. I don't think it has a name, honestly. It doesn't say anything. All it says is the number 250, but it looks like this. And we're basically gonna highlight ourselves. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush, which looks like this. And um, yeah, just gonna pack it on, test it out, see how it looks. Probably grabbed a lot, but whatever. Ooh, really likey. I mean, we already have the glitter, why not add that pop of highlight as well? She's cute. I like it. And I'm gonna grab some on my finger and just, oh, that's a lot. Drop some on my nose like so and my inner corner of my eye. That's a lot, Jesus Christ. Said so we're popping. Guess I meant it. And that's basically it, guys. We are all glowed up. Literally. Now, go ahead and grab a brush and just swipe this guy off. Okay guys, so this is basically the overall look. Overall, I think everything went pretty well. I just gotta wait for the aftermath, basically. See what it does to me how it acts throughout the day, um, that sort of stuff, I guess. I feel like that's what the makeup gurus do. I have no idea, but anyways, um, I love the palette. I really, really liked the colors that I used. I went ahead and finished it off with my Morphe liquid lipstick. Um, it is the color Vinyl, and it is this guy right here, and yeah. That is basically it for this video. I think everything was pretty smooth going. Didn't really have any complications with anything. I know in the beginning I thought it was like, Ugh, I thought some shades were lighter and some shades were darker. But overall, looking at everything else, the finale looks pretty good. Um, I may have to go outside in the light to double check it because it's kind of dim in my room now because the sun is setting. So it obviously looks a little different, but I like it. I like how everything turned out. So um, yeah, that's basically going to end today's video. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below any video suggestions you might have for me, makeup videos, whatever. Um, go ahead and leave that down below and I'll go ahead and check a look. Check a look. I'll go ahead and take a look at your comments. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications to know when I post. And don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not-so-entertaining life and with my channel's life. I love each and every single one of you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!